All right, welcome back to WM Macy Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson. So this Saturday, we have something we don't get to see too often in the ladies' divisions. We have a genuine bad blood fight going down. We've got a flyweight bout, Marina Morose taking on Maria Agapova. And these two genuinely do not like each other. It all goes back to an interview Burroughs had in July of last year with a Russian MMA outlet where she basically accused Agapova of, and basically said, you know, she's a she, chick's crazy. She accused um, Agapova of just wanting to go out and party all the time, uh, fighting with people, said she started hitting on some of the fighters there at ATT. Um, basically started hitting on one guy and then when he got mad when she when he rebuffed her and like she basically threatened to uh, stab the guy's pregnant wife and so on and so forth so Moreau's just making really you know bad accusations about Agapova and basically just accusing her of being you know bat crazy and also accused her of drug use as well and then Agapova, well, obviously she didn't take to that very kindly and said that, made it clear immediately that she wanted to fight uh, Moroz and said that, so Agapova basically said, you know, uh, Moroz is jealous and she's sneaky, said just trying, that Moroz is just trying to destroy her career. Said, Agapova said that she lost sponsorships because of Moroz, because of that interview. And she got in trouble, troubling situations, and she wanted to punish this, quote, I would like to punish this bitch because she tried to destroy my career. I want to smash her. So these two, they genuinely don't like each other. Now, what the validity of these accusations are, who's to say? And Agapova also accused Moroz of ripping off her manager, uh, Agapova's manager. I don't know if he's the same manager as Moroz or not, but Agapova made that accusation towards Moroz that, yeah, this guy or this girl, she ripped off, you know, this manager and he's a good guy. So these, these two, there's some bad blood going on between them and they get to settle it out this Saturday at UFC 272. It's one of the prelim bouts. I am really looking forward to that this. I'm not going to go into the fight itself on this video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about this bad blood because, you know, when, when two guys get some bad blood going, they usually fight it out and then they let it go. That's how guys are. But with these ladies, I don't expect this bad blood to settle with this bout. I honestly do not. These two do not like each other and I think they're going to continue to not like each other no matter the result of this bout. And it just gets me excited because when people don't like each other, they go in there looking to kill each other. Uh, you, you don't see too often, it's, it's rare that you have genuine bad blood in a fight and when you actually can manage to get them in the ring against each other, I think this, this is gonna be some fireworks in the cage this Saturday at UFC 272. I mean, there's no reason for it not to be. If these two come in and just look to, you know, eke it out a decision, I, it's going to be very disappointing. But I, these two, no, they, they don't like each other. I mean, one made really bad accusations about the other. And the other basically said, well, you're just jealous of me and trying to destroy my career and then made accusations back. So... You know, whether or not any of these accusations are true, that they're slinging back and forth at each other, you know, who's to say? Who knows? Honestly, at the end of the day, who cares? Because it doesn't really matter because they believe it. So they're going to take this bad blood into the cage and they're going to look to take it out on each other. Uh, Agapova, she's a very aggressive, stylistic fighter. Morose is more calculating. Um, she's shown a lot of him uh, she's looked a lot better in her couple of fights since moving to flyweight now she this is going to be Morose's first fight in two years uh, I know she went back to the Ukraine during 
COVID and had trouble getting paperwork coming back to the U.S. since then. And she said that's why she couldn't fight since then. Agapova has stayed in Florida. But these two... But now, we finally get to see these two face off. This has been almost a year in the making. You know, this bad blood going on between them. I'm really excited for it. Also, keep in mind, Marina Moroz is Ukrainian. Her family's over in Ukraine right now, and we all know what's going on over there. Now, I'm not going to get into it, but let's just say that Moroz is going to be carrying that weight into the fight with her as well. So she's looking to prove a point and fighting, you know, for, you know, her countrymen back home. So she's taking that in, into the cage with her as well. She's got that weight on her shoulders. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. I expect these two are just going to go in there and absolutely want to destroy each other. And I am here for it. Those are my thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts. Are these two going to go at it? You think they're going to try to finish each other? Or draw it out and punish each other? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you liked the video, please give it a like. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to WMAC Now. The best, most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.